Today, I'm going to show you behind the scenes how I film myself for my latest YouTube video. Starting with a video that looks and sounds like this. And creating a video that looks and sounds like this. And you don't need lots of expensive gear to get started. My whole setup is well less than $1,000. I have the Sony A6000 camera, a $10 LED light on the camera, a $10 lav mic here, and a few other things I have around the house, like a desk lamp. You can check out all of the gear that I'm using today, links are in the description below. If you've been following my channel recently, you will have seen that I've just been documenting daily life of the COVID situation here in Vietnam, doing spontaneous daily vlogs just using my GoPro, but what I really love to do is to film cinematic travel videos, like this one that you can see here, we're in the Mekong Delta in southern Vietnam, and I also have a passion for filmmaking. I recently started doing a filmmaking course, and today I'm putting into practice what I've been learning as I take you behind the scenes in the production of my latest YouTube video. So if you're interested in filmmaking, you want to get started on YouTube, or you just want to see what goofy stuff we do behind the scenes of this channel, then keep watching. So now that we've finished the planning stage involving writing down the idea, writing some script and directions, we can move on to the next step, which is the production phase. One of my favorites, you get to be a bit more creative here. You know that we're full-time teachers, so lots of our walls are taken up with these kind of posters. This room you can see is a bit brighter. We also work in this room, so that corner is not gonna be ideal, but I think that this blank wall here can make quite a good studio interview environment. It's quite busy in this room. We use it for a lot of storage, but it's got quite a nice big open window here. I'll have to set up on the bed and I've got to clear up this space now. Now that I've got the desk set up how I like it, not the best, but I'm going to have to set up my camera on the bed over there. I'm just using my Sony A6000 mirrorless camera and the cheap tripod that I've got here. I'm going to set this up in front of the chair, a decent distance away and see how it looks. I'm going to use this very technical tool, which is a food tray, just to keep it flat. I also have this useful tool here, which is a little mirror that I can put on top of my camera so I can see it kind of a bit from a distance. So I've got my camera set up over there behind the window and I can use the app on my phone so I can preview just to see how it's looking with the framing and things like that. So the next thing that I need to deal with is the setup of the lighting. As you can see, we've got a very bright window behind the camera, which gives me some light and I've got the overhead lights on, but I'm gonna get some of my lighting set up to give a bit more light on me and a bit better picture. So let's go grab some lamps that I have around the house. So here's one light setup that I'm considering. I've got a lamp with no shade down behind my chair. On top of the camera, I have a bright white LED light and a lamp with a lampshade just off to the center left. So I can try to give myself some brightness on my face, a little bit of background contrast and a bit of a fill light on the side. I've also closed the main curtains behind me but left this side window open for a little bit of extra light. But I can't be my news anchor presenter looking like this, so I do a quick wardrobe change. <sighs> Luckily, only my top half is in the shot, so you can keep the shorts on, much more presentable. And the last thing I want to do is make the desk a bit more presentable to get some props like a news anchor, maybe a glass of water, some papers to shuffle, and then we're ready to start shooting. So I got a couple of props. I got my glass bottle of water, that's the cleanest I could find, and I've got some papers. This is actually my passport application and my contract for this apartment. Just something to shuffle. <clears throat> To look a bit more professional for the shoot. Now the last thing that's really important is I've got to deal with the audio, the sound for the video. So I'm going to use this lav mic, it's a Boya M1 and I'm going to run it under my shirt, out through the button holes and I think just clip onto the side of my tie and we're good. I could try to conceal it but to be honest I can't be bothered. This is pretty much the setup ready to start shooting. And while I'm here I figured I'll shoot a few quick thumbnails since I'm all set up. So I'm triggering it on my phone. Wasn't ready for that one. And they're looking okay, I think let's start recording. One thing I'm gonna do is do a test recording, go hit record, practice a few lines with the mic on and check everything looks good before we start so you don't run into any problems at the end. Good evening. Our top stories tonight, 
Saigon lockdown has ended. So that's a dry run. I can stop the audio, stop the video and have a little watch through. So I'm just gonna deliver a few lines, look at the script on my phone and keep going. I can always cut it together later. I need to get going with this video running out of time. <clears throat> As of the 1st of October, Ho Chi Minh City ended its strict Directive 16 lockdown. It's been confirmed that Saigon has ended its Directive 16 strict stay-at-home lockdown. Something like that, maybe. So I just finished the first shot for the first scene here of the Anchorman before we move to a new character. But I'm going to batch all of the scenes with this guy, meaning I'm going to record everything that this character does and I'll fix it and align them in the right order when it comes to the edit to save time changing, moving setup. So I'm going to film the rest of the other scenes for the Anchorman now. Take two. That's just great to see. Now it's said that this freedom of it's said that I'm sure those shops will be doing great business over the next few weeks. But let's hear the latest update from our resident weatherman. Foreigners and localers. It's great to see the It's great to see the city in local. Now we're almost out of so here We're almost out of time for this report, but before we go, we have a quick update on the weather. So, thank you for joining us for Saigon's number one unofficial So, thank you for joining us tonight on the number one unofficial So, thank you for joining us tonight on Saigon's number one So, I just finished all of the Anchorman parts of the video, but I've a bit run out of time. I only got 20 minutes before I start teaching again, so have to put the room back how it was. Gonna have to come back tomorrow to finish off the other parts of the video. That's what happens when you got a film on your own. Good afternoon, it's day two on the shoot. Got some more to do today. Normally, it doesn't take this long. If I just sit down one day for an hour, I can get it all done by shooting all this behind the scenes, doing more with lighting, it's taking a bit more time, so I'm back at it this afternoon. One more part to do today. I have to film two more parts, which I need different costume and to do different characters, and I got a slightly different setup, so I'll show you now. This time I'm not doing a sit down at a desk scene, so I've moved the desk and table from here. And instead, I'm gonna be doing a standing shot. So I've got the camera up here, mounted a bit higher. Same lighting, LED on top, a lamp, and I've got my background light there. So I'm gonna be standing against this blank wall and talking, doing a report. I'm gonna put a graphic over here. So I'm gonna shoot it this way but I need to get changed again. I'm gonna do a bit of a Clark Kent and I'm just gonna put the same outfit with some glasses to make it a bit of a funny different character. So I'm all set up again in my gear from yesterday with a little bit of uh, tamed hair and the piece de resistance. Totally different character just for a bit of fun, Clark Kent effect. So gonna shoot these scenes now. I've got my iPad on a chair just out of shot so I can read the lines and do a few takes. So let's try. Mic test, mic test. Although we have left Directive 16 stay-at-home order, the city is not fully returned to pre-pandemic state. Mic test, mic test. Shooting, shooting, talk over here. Strict stay-at-home lockdown. We have... As you can see, one significant change here is the relaxation for weddings and funerals of less than 20 people. Which is perfect if you don't have that many friends. <laughs> and as it says, that medical... However, a... F Finally, street vendors. One significant detail here is the allowance of up to 20 people for weddings and funerals. Perfect if you don't have many friends. So that was my final part films. I think it went okay, a bit rough. I didn't really know the lines and super fiddly with the setup. One more thing to shoot. So I'm gonna to try to recruit Emma to have a guest role as the weather woman and one more shot to do and then we're done. So we'll keep the same setup and we've got one prop, which will be a rain poncho to be the weather woman and one more line and then it should be done for production. <laughs> Our weather woman is ready. How's the weather? Rainy. <laughs> so it's just gonna be your top half. It's gonna pan to you this way. So it's gonna look like that. So when you're standing there, you'll 
look over this side like you're looking at me, I would have said, and now a quick report from the weather, like I look to you. So you just say, like, it's going to be rainy. Can I hook you up something under? So we're going to go set up the camera for Emma now. Seems like a school project. <laughs> What do I do? I just look. Just look to the right, look back, not happy, say it's gonna be raining. It's gonna be raining. <laughs> okay, just do it a couple of times. Look straight ahead, it's gonna be raining, and then turn back. It's gonna be raining. <laughs> we have a quick update on the weather. It's gonna be raining. So we're almost done here, there's some good acting from Emma that should be the funny part of the video, it's going to be rainy hopefully. Now we're just going to do one outro for the actual video, out of character, just to wrap up the video and to promo some of the other videos on my channel. So this is just the outro in normal characters, we'll get the last scene set up now. So what we say? Mic test, mic test. So it's just going to be something along the lines of... You can watch our other special reports, this video and this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Yeah. Just being able to shop by ourselves. Oh no. <laughs> We're grown ups again. If you want to watch some more of our other special reports, you can watch this video up here, which will be, should have thought about it. Um, oh, best, best expat city. Good, do it one more time. Yeah. Okay, I think it's okay. Mm -hmm. I better just take a look at it. Yeah. So thanks very much for watching and see you next time. Bye guys, give it a big thumbs up. <laughs> bye bye. So that was it. That was all of the production, shot all of the scenes and I think we covered everything. It's a bit of a difficult setup. This is not an ideal YouTube studio, but hopefully we got all the shots. Now it's time to import all of the footage into my computer and start the post-production phase and editing. And actually before I can even get to editing or anything post-production, I have to take everything down here it's a bit of a bomb site, so we've got to put clothes away, put stuff back in the camera bag, and clean everything up, get it back ready to teach over here in a few hours. So we're going to do a load of clean up now. So there was some insight about how I shoot these YouTube videos interview style with no studio at home on low budget. If you like this kind of behind the scenes video and want to see more, including things like planning the video ideas, video editing, script writing, or anything else about YouTube, feel free to ask me questions down below and let me know what you'd like to see next. If you enjoyed this video, you want to follow my filmmaking journey or to support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps and it's totally free. In the meantime, up here will be a video about cost of living here in Vietnam and down there, a playlist of all my cinematic travel. So thanks very much, take care and see you in the next one.